Instagram and on Twitter at Abby Outlet. It's Abby, welcome back to a new video on my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a, a new video and this is not really an opinionated video but just a rant video and never one. So basically we've all heard about the new pirates that are coming to Royal High very very soon. It's now in testing which I said in my other video which was like three days ago. So if you guys haven't seen that just check it out. I spoke about the pirate set and I spoke pretty highly of the pirate set in that video and I want to speak a bit more highly about it in this video because in this video we're going to be talking about why the pirate set is going to change royal high for the better and i would i would say for the better not the worse honestly because royal high is changing as as we speak and i feel like with a lot of sets that comes out it changes royal high a lot but there are so many female sets when there's a male set coming on the royal high things will change and i want to just like say that in this video and another thing is that the person who's making the set is johnny soleil all the credit will be going to johnny soleil because he is the maker of this set so i'm gonna give you guys three points about why it will change royal high before we get started don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys like this video and turn on notifications when you have just subscribed so you can not miss any more videos from me so also follow me on my two social medias on twitter and instagram at abby outlet at the moment i'm not too active on twitter but i do check out um some things you had tagged me so like some tea that you tag me that you guys might tag me on or maybe like some concepts i can still see it i still am active with that but i'm not active with like publicly tweeting anymore so i'm more active publicly on instagram at the moment so you can follow me on both social media so i'll still be active somehow but I'm mostly active publicly on my Instagram, so yeah. Anyways, guys, let's get started with it. Okay, guys, so the first point is that this set is a change of theme. So basically, we have female sets, and usually the theme for all these female sets is like something I'm wearing as well. We have like a frilly, a poofy kind of princess sets, or like even cultural sets as well. They are still kind of like royal sets. So the whole theme for all the female sets are just like royalty sets sets so like if we go to shopping right now and go to like um all the featured collections we see the darling valentina set which is like a cute little like valentine's day set which is seemed really royal and princessy we got the enchanting heirloom which is something also princessy but like still kind of feminine and we got something like uh, the star Frost, so it's obviously a winter princess set we got the charming prince set and uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later and the dear dolly set so it's never a thing so the dear dolly set is never kind of princessy royal thing and we got the Miss Lady Rose as well. You can tell that this is obviously a princess set as well. So as you can see, they are both like very coherent with princess ideal sets. So basically, um, we're going to be talking about uh, the pirate set and why it's a change of theme because the pirate set is something that's out of theme because usually with a male sets they usually think of oh princes so they make a prince set for example the charming prince which i'm going to talk about right now the charming prince collection is an example of how they're trying to trying to branch out royal high to men or boys but they want to make it like oh a princess and a prince makes sense it's perfect for the game but the thing is that a pirate set is something that's really different to royal high because royal high is supposed to be like a royal thing right pirates aren't exactly royal so i feel like boys can like appeal to that set more than maybe like a prince set because they might think that prince are princes are instantly like okay too girly for me i want to be like boys i mean my cousin <laughs> i have a boy cousin and um he does not want to play royal high so i feel like you know if they were more open if he was like more open to like royal high and see like oh my god there's like a pirate set coming out and it's really really cool then i feel like honestly he would consider playing one day so um yeah that basically it's a different change of theme and it's something that's very different to any collection in royal high and plus you can also match it with like some accessories from the wheel there are some pirate accessories so if you have some pirate accessories or whatever you can match it with the set so i feel like that's another thing that will really really work with the set as well so the first thing is definitely a change of set theme so that's what's really gonna change royal high just the different theme than usual 
Okay, guys. So the second point is a set. The pirate set is gonna be a set that's very coherent. So it's not gonna be incoherent. So for the Charming Prince set, we have established that there are different types of like accessories. Oh, we can press it, press the Wars. Okay, the Charming Prince collection. We can see that there are like not exactly a lot of coherent pieces. We got two shoes. We got um an archery set. We got a crown. We got a duke sash a sword and then we have like a, a bandit mask and a superhero mask as you can see it seems like it's not really coherent they just put like different types of pieces that would appeal to boys into this set so i feel like this um because a lot of our sets are very coherent they have different pieces that work to, with each other for the theme with the pirate set that johnny soleil is gonna make He's gonna be making these set pieces very, very like coherent with the actual set. So the torso is gonna match with the bottoms, the shoes are gonna match with the torso or the hat. It's just gonna be just like a female set, but mostly for males. So instead of us making like two shoes or like a jacket or then a, a bandit mask, a superhero mask, a sword, I feel like um, it's gonna be more coherent than usual. So we've already seen the maybe like a model wearing it, which I'll put on the screen. Like we already see a model wearing the actual uh, pirate set, but I feel like other than that, I feel like it's gonna be something that's really, really like very coherent with like the pieces and just like any other female set. So honestly, when it comes out, at least they can figure out like, okay, this is for this set and this is for that set. It's not like jumbled up or whatever. Oh my God, the bubble game. <laughs> it's not like jumbled up or whatever. So um, I feel like, um, it would just be more like coherent, just like a female set. So it would just it would just work better than the Charming Prince set, which is like a bunch of items just like into this like one bubble of a set. But I feel like the pirate set, it can be like more, like all of the items are together and they just work together. So that is the second one. Hey guys, so the third point is representation for males. So I feel like if when this pirate set comes out, I have a feeling that more males will start getting like you know, at least some, even the, the, like some males that even like play the game already um, and they still wear like female clothing. I feel like they will maybe have some more, you know, options now since they're more clothes, they're more like now there's like a pirate set and I feel like they would like, they would, it would appeal to them more than maybe just like the, the set that we have already. So more represent representation for males, more representation for people that want to dress as males in the game than a female, which I'm sure there's some people like that. So I feel like it would just represent so many other people than just a female set all the time. Cause we have like, I don't know how many sets for females, but we only have like two sets for males. So I feel like when the pirate set comes out, it would definitely change the way that people want to see Royal High, not as much as a girly game, but like a game for everyone, if that makes any sense. So I feel like we should definitely heavily promote this update for the Pirates set when it comes out because it is going to change Royal High for the better and not look at it so much as a girly game, but a game for everyone. And hopefully one day they can make more sets with, for like males or anybody that wants to wear a male set. Like I said in my other video that hopefully there's like two option uniforms for the new school is gonna come out for females and males so we can get another set which will make it three sets because we dominated with the cultural representation it was amazing so let's try and see if we can do more representation with like gender and stuff like that so yeah honestly guys i think that's all of the points i have for today and i really hope you guys at least agree with what i'm saying i feel like it will kind of change real high with for the better so tell me in the comments down below would you get this set and if you're a guy that watches me that plays real high would you get the set um i personally hopefully i, I don't know if i will get the set but i do want to get it just because i want to like have like a costume for my roleplay series that I want with a character. So if you watched um, my roleplay series, Planet Galaxy, you'll know that um, one of the bad guys, I want the uh, pirate set for, I want the pirate set to be his costume. So I think I might just get it for that reason, but tell me in the comments down below, would you get this set? And what do you think about it anyways? So yeah, guys, I hope you, go, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'll see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and turn on notifications so you'll never, ever, ever miss a video from me, guys. And we are almost to 40,000 subscribers, just a few hundred away. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Really, really helps me out. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, thank you for making up with me, everybody. Bye-bye!